Okay, hey, you said they dominate the world, right? What did God say about that? Give me Job 9 and 24. He said to step the world, to separate from the world. Right, hey, facts. You can facts. You can say things. Facts, okay. No, nah, we ain't talking about no damn Illuminati. Okay, but there's a whole entity yeah, nah. that's well. But entities like the Illuminati, they created for what? Well, they, they created they, they created for what? Cause because you got the FBI was created for what? Me and like J. Edgar Hoover. Right. They they said they said they only they said they only fear was what? What was they fear? What was J. Edgar Hoover's fear when he created the FBI? What did he say? What did he say he was afraid of? He said a black messiah. Right. A black messiah. Why he didn't say a white messiah? Tito. Why he didn't say the Chinese messiah? Right. We are to be feared. Why are we to be feared? Because we God's elect. Right. We God's chosen people. But we got to stand up as God's people. You, you got to separate from your oppressor. You got to separate from your enemy. You Read what you got. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. So you made a statement. The white man ruled the world. And all that. Okay, so what did God say about that? Read. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You right. The white man do run the world, and God said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right. Who is the wicked? Who is the wicked? Those who accept no, uh, let's get it. Malachi 1. Let's see what God said the wicked is. That's why the Bible must be read precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Start at verse one. No, we gonna see what God said the wicked is. We gonna see what God said. It ain't your interpretation, it's not mine. Malachi one and one, read that. This is the book of Malachi, chapter one and verse one. Come on. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Come on. I have loved you, said the Lord. So God said he loved somebody, brother. He said, I have loved you, said the Lord, read. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? So we ask God, how you love us, God? Why, why, would, the, why would the chosen people of God ask God, how do he love us? Because we oppressed. Right. We downtrodden. We the last hired. We the first fire. We don't got nothing. We don't got no unity. Like you said, we sell drugs to each other. We kill each other. We asking God, where's the love? We need a redeemer. We need salvation. That's why he sent Christ only to the Israelites. Read. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? He said, was not Esau Jacob's brother? He said, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Do we got a sign with Esau on it? He said, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Who was Esau? Who is Esau today? Because Esau became a nation of people. He said, was not Esau Jacob's brother? We know Jacob is, right? The 12 tribes. Who is Esau today? I'm born out of, what is it? No, Genesis 36. Yeah, hold that for me, officer. Genesis 36. Let's see who Esau is today in earth. So now you can understand the understanding that we got that you need to come to because it's the true understanding of the Bible. But we are already on the same page with that. No, we're we not on the same page. We know, I know who I am. I know historically. But you don't know who Esau is. You're teaching love. But you don't know who Esau is, sis. We, teach love. we teach love to our people. We, we don't teach love to everybody. Because God don't love everybody. Right. So it's pointless for me to teach love to all nations. His people are the Israelites. His people are the Israelites. So so in Malachi 1, hold on, sister. In Malachi 1, he said God loved Jacob, but he hated Esau. So let, let's see who Esau is today in earth. Read that. Genesis 36 and 1. Then you're going to jump down to read 8 and 9. Read that. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 36 and verse 1. Come on. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. These are the generations. A generation means a people, a race, a lineage. These are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Come on. Verse 8. Read. Thus dwelt Esau in, the, in Mount Seir. So when you read in different places like Ezekiel 35 about Mount Seir, he is referring back to Edom. Who is Esau? Read. Esau is Edom. Come on. And these are the generations of Esau. These are the generations of Esau. So go back to Malachi um, 1. These are the gen generations of Esau. So Esau is a people on the earth. Read that again. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel Come on. by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? So he said, Jacob and Esau, they had the same father. But I love Israel. I love Jacob. I chose Jacob and I rejected Esau. He making a he making a distinction in between the two. Read. Right. Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. God said he hates. He hates. 
He hates Esau. This is a people. This is a lineage. This is a race of people on earth today. God said he hates them. So all people can't get the kingdom of heaven if God said he hates a race of people. Right. Read. And I hated Esau Come on. and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. When did God lay Esau's mountains and heritage waste? You know why God did this? Because in 70 AD, Pompeii, in Titus and Vespasian, I mean Titus and Vespasian, the Roman generals, they ransacked Jerusalem. Right. They starved the Israelites out. They had us eating our kids, killing our babies. God said it was a judgment for that. So in 193 AD, our forefather Septimius Severus conquered the Roman Empire. Right. They became known as the Holy Roman Empire. God said he laid their heritage and mountains waste. That's why they called it the Dark Ages. So from 193 AD to about 1453 AD, the, the, the Moors in Spain and Portugal, all over Europe, black people ruled. That's why they call it the Dark Ages. Right. God said he would lay their heritage waste. So in 1453, the white man came back into power, who in the Bible is called Esau or Edom, and they gave us a white image of Christ. Right. God said he hates these people that did that because they speak blasphemies against God. Right. Free. And I hated Esau. Come on. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste Free. for the dragons of the wilderness. Come on. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. So Edom, during that time, they gathered together. They said, we desolate, we impoverished. We're going to come back. We're going to have a rebirth, a renaissance era in the earth. We're going to be back in power. Read. But we will return and build the desolate places. And today they got an empire. That empire is called America. Right. Because right. America, spiritually in the Bible, is an extension of Rome. They rebuilt the desolate places. The same spirits that was in ancient Rome, they are in America today. Right. God said they built up America like ancient Rome, but God said he gonna throw this down place down to the ground. Right. He said he gonna make it most desolate. Read. The said the Lord of hosts, come on. They shall build, but I will throw down. So America is built up. It's the greatest empire on the earth. It is the world power today. God said they will build, but God gonna do what? But I will throw down. God said I'm gonna throw that to the ground. I'm gonna throw down. That's how we know God a black man. That's how right. that's how our forefathers used to talk in the 70s. I'm gonna throw down. That's that flavor that the black man got today. Cause we made in the image of God. That's right. God ain't dealing with our people, sister. We gotta cast that imagination far from our mind. God only wanna deal with the blacks and the Hispanics. The the true Israelites, the biblical Jews. Right. And they shall call them the borders of wickedness. God said they shall call them Esau, Edom, what? The border of wickedness. What is a border? What is a border? Like the border of Texas, you leave Mexico and come to Texas, a border, what is that? It's a boundary, a dividing line. So God called Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He said he is the border of wickedness. Read that again. The border of wickedness. So that means a white man is the beginning and the end of wickedness. Right. Now you said Esau was the Arab. I went to Genesis 33 and saw Esau eating Edom's history. Genesis 25. Now we're going to prove in the Bible that Esau is the so-called Caucasian race today. The white man even wrote a book called uh, the, the Roman Empire, the, the Edomites. So the white man know he eat him. He know he eat Esau. But read that, I, cause I'ma show you that Esau eat or eat him is the so-called white man today. Read that. There's a book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 23. Read. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. You hear that? He said two nations. This is Jacob and Esau. God said two nations, two different nations. Yeah, they got the same mom and daddy, but two separation of nations is going on right here. Read. And two manner of people. Two manner of people. We totally different. White, we don't like the we don't like the same food white people like. We don't we don't take entertainment value the same entertainment value as white people. We don't walk like them. We don't talk like them. We don't dress like them. Cause we both speak English, but the way we talk, they call it ebonics. We put slang and flavor on everything. Right. Or urban, yeah. Cause we not the same. That's what God's saying right here. Two, yeah, they know it. That's why he said two manner. Two different people. They talk, they're completely different, even though they got the same mom and dad. Three. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Come on. 
and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. He's talking about the Israelites. Physically, mentally, spiritually, we are stronger than every other nation. But right here, specifically, specifically, it's talking about the white man right here. We are physically stronger than them. We are mentally stronger than them. We are spiritually stronger than them. Because even the great feast that they got on this earth, guess who had to help them get there? Us. Even in America. The, the white man was the first people to go to the moon, 1969, right? They made the movie on how they got the mathematics to get there. The black woman helped them. They had to have a black woman because God said mentally, physically, spiritually, we stronger than them. Right. We had to get them to know how. Yeah, we don't act like it. As a people, we do not act like it. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, uh, okay, sis. But to your point. No, God gonna separate. I will show you. Give me a chance. But to your point, you think the people that suppress, oppress our people like that, you think God is okay with that? Oh, exactly, he knew it, but is he okay with that? Exactly. Deuteronomy 28 lets us know that. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Read. behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. God said the first child, which is Esau, because he said the elder would serve the younger. He's talking about spirit of in future tense in the kingdom of heaven. They're gonna be our servants. That's God showing you from the beginning in Genesis that there's a distinction. Because he said the older child, the one that came out red all over, like a hairy garment, he will serve the younger child, which is Jacob. What people today is red? What people today is red? What people are red on the earth today? Because there are no white people. Because you look at that car right there in traffic, it's white. No people looks like that that car. No people look like that. What we call what 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 do we call the cock? Look at him. He's the perfect example. Look at his face. What does he look like? Read the Bible one more time. No, read the Bible one more time. Read the Bible. And the first came out red all over. He said the first came out red all over. Sister sister read the listen you ain't listening to the word these guys words he said the first came out this is god's description because who wrote genesis who wrote the book of genesis moses moses moses, moses wrote genesis was moses alive during this time was moses alive during this time he's contributing to the word but no, no you you can you can know it that don't mean it's for you right I can know Chinese history. Do that make do that make me Chinese? Bring it out. No, nah, no. That you you saying that? See, that's what you saying. You want, but is that what God want? No, it's not. Well, I asked you for a scripture. Show me the scripture. Show me the scripture. We'll read it, and if that's what it means, we will follow it. But God, God. So, so my my question was: Moses wasn't alive during Genesis 25. He wrote Genesis, though, right? So, how did he get this information? Bring it out. When God took him in Mount Sinai, he showed him this. So when he, so when we reading red and hairy all over, God is, te God, this is God's description. God is giving Mo uh, Mo Moses this understanding. Right. So you got to look on the earth what people are red. This is the people God hates. We read it in Malachi. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.